I was gonna explain it in my room by myself, but my roommate's in here and she don't want to me in there and she don't want to hear much of anything about it. So, now I'd like to explain it all. The only reason I deleted my TikTok was because I just didn't want to deal with other people's hate comments and stuff and I was sick of hearing it, I was sick of hearing drama, and I was sick of hearing all this nonsense, but I have changed. I have thought about it for a week and decided to get back on TikTok again. So, I would like to ex give a brief explanation about, um, mainly, about this. So, um, what I decided to do... Yeah, I'm not going to say anything, so. so I know there's a lot of people on here, and I know what y'all are going to do. I know I'm going to be hearing with a bunch of bombarded questions saying, y'all saw this coming because I saw it coming myself, too. I knew it was going to happen. So... thing is, though, the baby daddy chose not, not to go to the visit to see Junior, and I almost held him down against his will because he wanted to leave, and even though, even though I did something that's completely against the law, the guards were just not going to see that, and like I said, he, uh, refused, he, gave such attitude to the case aid that they canceled the visit and I had a seizure and the security guard over there, he didn't care about me at all. He just lied to me and said he called the paramedics and he changed the time and then he told me and then he told me to leave or he's gonna call the cops. So yeah. But, but like I said, this is a very important thing I need to say. It's very harsh and it hurts a lot to explain, but he has till next Friday to make this decision. Um, the next visit is going to be Friday because we were going to do a Monday, but I can't do I can't do next Monday because I got to go to court next Monday. So um, yeah, I just had him actually. But yeah, I'm a, I'm not a new place now. Actually, it's only just going to be temporary until I can get my own place and I, at this point I might be just be going to women's shelters because uh, this is what I'm going to explain or maybe even if my case manager can get me a supportive home for me and the kids because this is what I'm going to explain. I'm, I know that um, if the father's not going to comply with any of the services and if he's not going to go to visits, he has till next Friday to make this decision. Otherwise, me and him are done. And I know it's a strong decision to make, and it's very hard on me, but, but yeah. Here I'm trying to find filters. I'm going to show you a picture of what he looks like. right there but yeah this is only temporary housing for me right now at the moment Elijah Jr. that's what his name is actually but yeah like I said The father is not going to comply with the visits or any services come next Friday during the
when the next visit happens, if he doesn't make a decision by next Friday, then me and him are done. And if he already makes his decision within the week saying that he's not going to go to the visit, then like I said, I'm done with him and I want nothing I want nothing else to do with him other than child support and co-parenting if he wants to co-parent with the kids in the far future after the case closes. So yeah, like I said, and and from then on, I'm going to just be single and focus on the kids. Like I said, I'm, ju I'm just going to be alone and I'm just going to focus on the kids. That's the case. Because if he just wants to be that way towards the kids, then, yeah. If he just wants to, he just saying, he's just stating that he wants nothing to do with the kids because of DCS and stuff. But like I said, I'm done with it. And yeah, because if I feel like I chose him he wants nothing to do with it, then I'd be just as bad as my mom, and I don't want to turn into my mom, so like I just said, if he wants to be this way, then me and him are done. Yep, and he has until next Friday to make a decision, and I'm going to give him that time, and if he makes the decision not to go to the visit, then yeah, like I said, me and him are done. He can make a decision within the week. If he makes a decision not to go to the visit, me and him are done. And if he also just makes the decision within the week to go, then I might reconsider. But if he makes a decision on the exact day, not to go to the visit, not to comply with services, then that's it. We're done. He's at another facility right now while I'm here. They didn't have any beds for him for males. So they had to, they had to wait. So he's going to come here tomorrow. So yeah, he'll be here tomorrow. Like I said, I'm going to be confronting him. Yeah. I even told that to my attorney okay. because they're already planning on severing the rights of their daughter. And I'm not trying to have that happen. Because if they're going to sever our rights and he chooses not to comply with services, like I said, I'm done with him. If he says no, then me and him are done. And plus Tuesday is the pre-trial. If he says no to services, if he says completely a no, then like I said, me and him are done. I've had enough of, I've had enough of it. Like I said, I've, I'm, I'm done. I can't do it anymore. It hurts and it's very, it's very hard to say, but I can't, I just can't take it anymore. I don't want him to put me or these kids down. Because, like I said, if I were to lose him over the kids, then I'd be just as bad as my mom. If I have to, I'll just get child support and support them with that. I'll give them whatever, get them whatever they want with that money, and then I'll even, I'll even maybe take it, take some of it, and do some fun stuff with us, both me and the kids. And yeah, like I said, if he just wants to be that way, then I'm just gonna be alone with the kids and be single. I don't want love anymore at that point. I've been okay since the breakthrough, actually. I know I said I wanted to delete my TikTok, but because I was tired of taking hate from people, but then I come to a conclusion to where it's just not gonna... It's just, I can't, so, yeah, I know a lot of people love, love me, so, I don't want to do that, like I said, and yeah, because the only thing I want from him is child support, though, if we do split, though, I don't want child support to, to help the kids, and that's it, and then if he wants to maybe co-parent with me, then, I'm fine, but that's, that I'll be out of state before that ever happens, which is probably never going to happen with that.
I used to be completely different back then and never thought about what I was doing, but like I said in my last video, it's hard, but it's for me and the kids' own good. But at this point, he's just putting himself over the kids, so yeah. He states, though, that he's going to die if he doesn't get enough sleep. He states that... This my, and then if he goes off and gets another kid pregnant, so what? DCS is going to take that kid, too. Like I said, they're just going to take kids from him. So, little does he realize, though, that it's not going to work if he goes off and has kids with other wives. It's not going to work that way. It doesn't work that way. If I could drink Sprite, I would. But I can't. I can't drink Sprite anymore. I used to drink Sprite, but I can't drink Sprite anymore. Nonetheless, and I don't have it right now. Not on his end. And if I had the if I had the guts, I could take my. I literally could raise his son too, but that's not my kid, so, you know, yeah. I'm pretty sure that kid's already long gone. But like I said, it's fine. It's fine. Not necessarily, because, um, putting what I was hearing from the CEO for DCS when the caseworkers came when the caseworkers came over I was according to what I was hearing sorry according to what I was hearing they thought that the dad just was not able to do anything so they thought it was the dad's fault that was the reason why but like I said if he's not willing to comply then I'm done with him because kids are more important than relationships, in my opinion, romantically. And if he just wants to be that way, tomorrow when he comes, I'm going to confront him. And I'm going to tell him the scoop. Because like I said, I have to join a court hearing tomorrow regarding our son. I just had to think about it for a week, but then after I got a call from my mom, after I got a call from my attorney, I told her that that he has he has until next Friday to make a decision. Otherwise, and I'm gonna give him I'm gonna give him two weeks. He has a, he has he has either until next Friday to make a decision, but next Tuesday, if he admits to the courts, if he admits to the courts that he's not gonna comply and they sever his rights. Then I'm gonna, then I'm gonna leave him. Like I said, but like I said, I'm maybe gonna give him a week before Tuesday, and then if he says something on the court hearing, I'm gonna still give him that time until Friday. Like I said, next Friday, not this Friday. Coming up next Friday. Next Friday. And he and he has time until next Friday to make that decision. Otherwise, I'm walking out. It's over between me and him, and I demand child support, and I'll support the kids on my own. Like I said, it may be two babies. May need to be fed at the same time. I can live with that. May need to be waking up in the middle of the night by myself. I can live with that. May need to take them everywhere I go with me. I can live with that. I can live with all that. I said. said I can live with all that I can I can just I can live with that I can do it on my own because if I were to choose him over my kids then I'd be just as bad as my mom 
so like I said I'm not doing what my mom did. explain to but I know it hurts but it's for our own good so yeah and I know he's gonna be complaining to DCS about yelling and this and that and he can yell and scream at me all he wants but I'm gonna just I'm gonna just be calling and, and saying though that no, I'm just saying no. Like I said, if he's just wanting to be that way. If he wants to yell and scream at me, I'm going to answer the phone and I'm going to tell him, I'm sorry, it was your choice. You made the decision. Now you got to stick with it. So yeah, if he does make a bad decision. So tomorrow I'm going to confront him. And he's going to be talked to tomorrow, too. There's going to be no, not that many disagreements because, well, no, there's going to be no disagreements between us. Because over here, there's no fighting allowed, no, no drama. Otherwise, yeah, like I said, no drama, no fighting, no this and that. Just no. Like I said, no. Just not that. You cannot do that. So, yeah, like I said, he has until, he has until next Friday. If he says no at the courts on the But if he says no at the court at the court hearing at the pretrial court hearing next Tuesday, then I'm done. Straight up. Done. Is this the same number as my battery percentage right now? <laughs> so funny, I have it on the charger. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching. But I have to go, so that's just what I was gonna explain to y'all.